going on guys this is your boy pat do you want to get higher rankings in a complete white hat way well watch this video because i'm going to be teaching you one of the most powerful techniques that you can implement and it is called a google drive stack but so make sure you watch to the end of this video because i'm going to show you how to get not one not two but three do follow backlinks, all right, from a very powerful website to help increase your domain authority and the rankings. So let's get right into it. All righty guys, so first thing first is I wanna quickly explain, you know, what is a Google Drive stack or Google Entity stack? So basically what this is, let me see if I can pull up this picture. So this is basically just connecting many different entities that Google owns, linking them together in order to drive power back to your main overall website, right? Now, some people like to do this as its own, you know, white hat link building technique, and other people like to use it as a buffer in order to pass, um, you know, spammier backlinks, PBNs, things of that nature. And this is a great technique that you can implement on your own website or for your client's website in order to increase your relevancy, you know, in the local presence, right? You can do this for your main website and you can also do this to power up your Google My Business, right? And like I said earlier, if you are planning on using any type of PBNs, any private blog networks or public blog networks, um, this is a great way to use it as a buffer, right? You never want to point anything that could be potentially dangerous in the long run to your main website, right? This is why you can send these links through your Google Drive stack to pretty much decrease the chances of receiving any type of penalty to your main website, right? So many SEOs do this. It's a very old trick and I'm going to show you how you can actually do this yourself with an example that I actually came across, right? So I was looking up the term, looking at cities with SEO consultant, right? Because I'm about to create my own SEO consultancy website. So I was just looking at some examples and I actually came across this particular company that uses this exact strategy to rank uh, for this keyword with a Google My Business website, right? If you don't know, Google My Business gives you a free Google website, right? And many people also use these as a web 2.0 or a parasite, whatever you wanna call it. So let's go down to the actual website, right? So I was scrolling down and I noticed this website right here. You can see sites.google.com, Houston SEO consultant, right? So they're using their main targeted keyword in order to rank this free Google website. And many people use this website in order to link out to all these other properties, right? You know, you have Blogger, you have your Google Docs, your Google Sheets, and so forth, right? So let's go back to their Google site. All right, so you can see they're using, again, you know, their main keyword that they wanna rank for, you know, in their title tag. And then they have, you know, SEO and a bunch of other keywords on this actual page. And you can see that if we click on this picture, you know, they actually have the keyword also in this. So let's go back. And then they actually have, you know, they're linking out to another Google owned entity, which is YouTube, right? Google owns YouTube. So it's a very powerful source that can ink, that can help out your rankings tremendously just by creating a YouTube video and linking back from your YouTube videos to your website or embedding a YouTube video on these different Google entities, right? So if we click on it, you can see it also has, you know, one of their keywords, SEO expert Houston. And it's probably just a video that they paid someone to create just for the purpose of this Google Drive stack, right? So let's continue going down. Then they have their Google Maps embedded on their free Google website. And then down here, this is where it gets interesting. They have, you know, all these different properties of Google directly embedded onto this website, right? You know, expert SEO company, Houston SEO company, Houston SEO experts. 
So if we click on this Google Sheets that they have, you can see it has a bunch of different Web 2.0s on it, Blogger, Tumblr, WordPress, uh, Twitter, Digo, Google Drive, Huffington Post, Medium. So they have all these other Web 2.0s directly onto this Google Sheets that is their own property and they're linking out to all these different properties, right? That has their keywords in it. You can see SEO company in Houston, um, SEO agency in Houston. And let's go ahead and click on this. And you can see that they've used these properties in order to rank their actual website, right? So this is their actual website. So you can see SEO Houston Pros, your premier company in Houston, Texas. So right the same video that we just saw a minute ago and this is a tactic that this particular seo agency is using and many other seo agencies that i've seen actually use this exact technique in order to rank in their local area right so they pretty much use this you know this free google website as a buffer because i'm pretty sure they're passing much more than just their own their google properties right they're probably sending you know pbn links to this in order to get their main website to rank right so this is a great uh strategy that you can implement yourself uh, i just wanted to go through this real quick just so you guys know that this still works this is not going to you know shoot you to the first page or to the number one spot but it'll certainly help you get started especially if you've never tried this technique before and if you do want to use it as a buffer i highly recommend if you are going to use pbns in the near future to build out some of these web 2.0 properties that you can use as a buffer to pass those links in order to decrease the chances of your website getting penalized right and then if we continue going down right they have their other web 2.0s also embedded in here you can see it's a google sheet and then they have these other um looks like they're linking out to their maps yeah so they're linking out to their map uh url let's click on this again their map so this might just be uh, it looks like they're all linking out to their map uh to their map property but so yeah anyways if you do want to get a closer look at what they're doing uh, all you have to do is go into google and type in houston seo consultant and you're gonna find this website so you can go through it analyze it and see what you like from it and you can you can copy these same techniques for your own business you know for your client's business right this completely white hat unless you start pointing you know those pbn links at it then it's going to get black hat but for the most part you should be fine this is a great way to build relevancy and trust because they're all google properties right google loves their own properties especially when you use it to put you know more information about your business about what you do and just putting out more of their and just using more of their properties for your own benefit right google loves that so you definitely want to make sure you use some of these uh, properties that google owns in order to increase your overall authority and relevancy which is going to in return help you get better rankings on the first page and on the map pack all right that pretty much sums up this part guys if you have any questions about uh, the google stack please leave it down below and i'll make sure to answer as many as i can now onto the good stuff where you guys have been waiting for the three do follow backlinks right just want to go to myfolio.com and go ahead and create an account so let's go and choose a username i'm gonna just do choose a password I'm not a robot I agree and join all right so you're gonna have to confirm to your email and it says that it could go to your spam so just keep that in mind when you are confirming it all right so it's right here go ahead and activate your account and then you know you can put in your information and right here is where you get to actually include one of your links right there you go as you can see i already have my link in it so to make this easier just 
grab a piece of content from a Google Doc with the link already in it, just to make this very easy for you. Then you can put in your information if you want to, but I'm just gonna skip all that and then go ahead and put your website where it says website. Um, Splendor of Youth. And then again, you're gonna wanna put another piece of content and you can again include a link into this. Make sure it's unique from your previous. Go ahead and paste it again. Grab it from a Google Doc or something like that so you can already have your link in it. So here we go. The three places that you put your link is in the About Me section, a website, and then in the Experience. And once you do that, go ahead and press Save Profile. Profile has been updated. Let's go up here. Let's go to View Profile. Let me move myself over. And go ahead and open up our Moz bar. You already know. We go to the link, follow, and boom, three do follow backlinks, right? So three do follow backlinks from a DA59 website. Make sure you pick these up. And if you have any questions about the Google stack, about these backlinks, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer any questions. And if you do want to see any type of specific videos on SEO, local SEO, off page, digital marketing, you name it, leave me a comment below. Make sure you leave me a like and comment guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. It will really help me out in growing this channel and doing more of these tutorials. All right, guys, that sums up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later.